Here we're showing what you can achieve with a traditional product by adding sensors, uh, actuators, uh, some intelligence and some wireless connectivity to give a different customer experience to what is inherently a pretty traditional product. So for this bike demonstration we've added uh, wireless gear changes, an actuator to electronically change the gears and a number of sensors to measure the wheel speed and the speed of the pedals uh, rotating which is normally called cadence. In addition we've also added a smartphone on which we're running an algorithm to intelligently control the gears to give the user a comfortable experience and also to allow them to add coaching facilities and allow them to maintain a, a, a training regime if they want. So on the iPad here we're showing the, the application and this will allow us to electronically control the gears of the bike. So for example, I can from here change down, the gears will automatically follow and I can also change up again. So we can also put the system into automatic mode. So now the algorithm on the iPhone will control uh, the gear that the, the cyclist is in to make sure that the pedal speed stays within a fixed band which can be set by the cyclist. Now you can either set this band for your own comfort to make sure that uh, you know, it's the most convenient cycling experience for you or for example you could set it in a coaching regime so you can do interval training of five minutes at one speed of rotation and five minutes at another speed. Of course because we've added a smartphone into the system you've also got GPS and an internet connection so you could for example add in things like predictive uh, gradients, so as you know you're coming up to a hill, it could change up or change down for you. There's a number of different things you could add to this system to make it an even better user experience. The other thing, of course, that the bike is able to do in auto mode is to help you uh, if you end up with a rapid deceleration. So if we have to slow down quickly, we're all familiar with the issue of, uh, of starting up in the wrong gear. But as you can see here, the, the bike detects that you've had to have a rapid deceleration and it will automatically change down to a low gear to help you start up. Now all of this really is an example of what you can do with a traditional product, but here we're showing it as it on a bike, but of course the same applies to a number of other different uh, goods, where by adding sensors, connectivity and algorithms, and a rich user interface on a smartphone, you're able to give a completely different user experience to a traditional product.